team weather. Here's Chief Meteorologist Chris Ramirez. Sponsored by Jim Bass Cars and Trucks. Welcome back, everyone. I still think it's funny that I kept thinking it was going to rain earlier. Yeah, you know, <laughs> just a small little cloud that just, you know, we did see some cloud cover, but we really didn't see any isolated right. storms here in San Angelo. We saw some south of us in Crockett County, and that could be the cause of that wildfire that was uh, earlier today that's still burning. But our dry conditions are spreading in the state of Texas. As far as right now, we are seeing those dry conditions creeping into more of the Concho Valley as we currently go into the start of August. 19.2% of the state is abnormally dry, 3.9% is under a moderate drought with 0.4% that is under a severe drought. And you're able to see those severe drought conditions just to the south of us near uh, Brownsville and portions of South Texas there. But as far as those dry conditions, seeing it for portions of the Texas Panhandle and kind of creeping all the way down into the Concho Valley with our drought monitor there. But looking at our dry conditions closer in the Concho Valley, where you're able to see these dry conditions actually in Erion County in the northern part of Crockett County. And so 163 actually runs from Barnhart to Azona. And so that's around where that wildfire was and we did see some storms with this as we got into those evening hours looking at our time or actually for the past six hours we were able to see some of those isolated storms make their way into Crockett County with a lot of lightning associated you're able to see that lightning there so uh, that could very well be the, the cause of these wildfires uh, that's currently burning right now but as far as our heat adv advisory is concerned we will be under a heat advisory for tomorrow starting at 12 noon and lasting all the way until 7 p.m. mostly clear conditions currently going on in the Concha Valley as of now, but as we head into our current conditions for the next several days, heat advisory tomorrow, we're going to see heat indices ranging from 104 to 107 degrees. Very hot temps are going to be lasting for the rest of this week with a mostly quiet weather pattern. The only thing of concern is going to be that heat as we head into the end of the week since the start of next week. But right now, here's the current conditions. 87 degrees here in San Angelo. Winds out of the east-southeast at 6 miles an hour. And across the Concha Valley, temperatures in the upper 80s to the north of us. And then still sitting at 90 degrees in Sonora, 81 in Arizona right now. And as we go into the next uh, several days, we are expecting to see this high pressure system that's situated off to the northwest of us that is going to be kind of moving closer towards the area. Across the state of Texas, mostly clear conditions. Earlier today, we had a few little isolated storms stretching from the Concho Valley all the way to east Texas. But as we look at our water vapor, we are seeing some increasing moisture that's on the way to portions of west central Texas. So this is going to be the cause of causing our heat indices, heat indices ranging from 102 to 106 as we go into tomorrow tomorrow and then lasting until the days after that. But this week, as that high pressure system moves over West Texas, we will see temperatures ranging from 103 to 104, uh, getting up to 105 as we head into next weekend. But that high pressure system is going to situate itself over the state of Texas and just going to cause our temperatures to be very hot and our skies to be mostly sunny as we head into the next seven days with those heat, with those temperatures getting up to 105 lasting until next Sunday and Monday there uh, with those uh, very hot conditions lasting. Futurecast has our temperatures getting down into the 70s and then mostly clear conditions as we head into those overnight hours. And we're going to see some increase in cloud cover as we go into tomorrow morning, but not really too much of anything as far as precipitation or cloud cover is concerned as we head into tomorrow. But we will see some increase in cloud cover for Wednesday afternoon leading into uh, those very hot conditions. So if you're walking your dog tomorrow morning, that's going to be the best time to walk your dog because it's going to be very hot as we head into the afternoon hours, 6 a.m. So getting up into the 70s, perfect time to walk your dog. And then getting up to 79, we'll start hitting that 80 degree mark as we go into the low 80s. That is my dog, Ginger. She's definitely uh, looking at me kind of shady because I was holding a treat and she wanted it really bad. <laughs> but tonight, getting down to 75, mostly clear and winds out of the southeast at 5 to 10 miles an hour. Tomorrow, getting up to 103. Heat, in heat index will range from 104 to 107. Winds out of the south, southwest at 5 to 10 miles an hour. And then for the next seven days, expect to see our temperatures getting up to 104 for Thursday and Friday getting up to 105 for this weekend. And then we're going to stay in that 105 range as we go from Saturday all the way till next Tuesday. Mostly sunny conditions, not really seeing any rain expected for the next seven days. We'll be right back.